Welcome back. Great to see you. We're making peppermint patties. You only need five ingredients, y'all. You need powdered sugar, peppermint extract, sweetened condensed milk. We're using sweetened condensed coconut milk because of the food allergies. Uh, you need a teaspoon and a half of shortening. I don't have any shortening. We're using vegetable spread. And then you need chocolate for melting. My chocolate is a little bit more expensive because we have some food allergies in the house and I can't use regular old chocolate. But let's get to cooking. This is an easy one, guys. And you know what I say, if I can do it, you can do it. Let's go. Okay, we're ready. We got clean hands. This is going to be what I'm using as a double boiler. I have a pot and a pot of water. That's what I'm going to do because that's where my chocolate's going to go to melt. Okay, let's get started. I got my double boiler going over here. At least that's what I'm calling it. It's just a pot of water with a pot sitting on top because that's what's going to melt my chocolate. I didn't feel like... Oh, maybe I should have felt like putting it in the uh, microwave. Okay, so let's get started with this. You're going to need a cup of sweetened condensed milk. Again, mine sweetened condensed coconut milk. If you are having issues with dairy, and I'll let you know how this turns out. I've never made it with these substitutions I'm making here, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do sometimes. We just got to make it for the babies, you know. And that's who I'm making it for. And if he can't eat it, that's not right. I sure wouldn't watch everybody eat, and I can't eat. All right, so we're going to put that in there. Uh, after that, you add the, um, boy, I can't think, the peppermint extract. This is really strong. It's a teaspoon and a half. Really don't need a whole lot of this. A little bit goes a long way. So we're going to add that in, okay? Teaspoon and a half. Okay. There you go. Fix that together. Boom. And then I'm going to slowly add, it says, five cups of powdered sugar. Not five cups, five and a half cups. Boy, I'm making all kinds of mistakes today. Um, more or less, depending on, we just want to get a dough going, okay? Um, the butter and, or the um, shortening you need, that's for the chocolate. So we're just going to start incorporating this until it makes a dough. And I'll flip, whoop, I just dropped my shoulder towel. Let's keep going. Now, I don't know if I said this or not. Um, if you don't have powdered sugar, powdered sugar is really just white sugar, white sugar uh, blended. So blend it up, break this down into, you know, half it and then quarter it and then half it from there, you know, um, that's what I would do. I wonder if I whisk it, if it'll go in better. It's been a long time since I did that. So let's give it a try. Let's see if I can find my whisk. Well, I was just going to buy a new whisk the other day too, because mine's looking a little... A little sad. Mine's been around for a really long time. Hmm. Well, it's not like it goes any better. It's still room temperature. Now, mind you, my counters are clean. My hands are clean. Because um, at some point, I'm going to have to get in here with my hands and mix it. I'm just trying to get this a dough ball formed. It's not a dough ball yet. Hmm. I wonder if you could freeze these. Probably could. 
I freeze everything. Depends on how many I make. I made four dozen um, cookies the other day and they're gone already. But, you know, they like when I cook. They enjoy it when I bake. And, you know, I really like to see them happy. So I know people just say, say that. Oh, I just, seeing you happy makes me happy, but it really does. I'm probably going to have to get in here with my hands before long. Just so sticky looking. I don't want to put my hands in stickiness. And we also need, like, when we make bread, you know, we, we, we reserve some for, like, the counter so we can, like, you know, roll it out. That's what we're going to, we're going to reserve some here, too, for the very same reason. And I'm going to start using my hands. Probably not going to like it, but the hands police, well, leave me alone. I don't have any other, it's not mixing. There's no other way to do it. I don't have a, a stand mixer. I'm supposed to be getting one. Somebody's supposed to give me one. They haven't given it to me yet, and I don't want to. I don't want to ask for it because you know maybe they changed their mind, maybe they didn't. I don't know. They want to give it to me. They will. I was just trying to get a workable dough ball here, so give or take. That's a lot. Let's just keep getting it going. All right, I'm going to do this, and when I get my dough ball, I'll come back so you don't have to sit here and watch me do this. Okay, honesty time. While I was mixing this, I'm not sure if it was how, how I put my sugar into the cup because I stuck it in there, I didn't spoon it in, or that I was using sweetened condensed um uh, coconut milk rather than sweetened condensed milk. Maybe that's a little bit more runny, but whatever the case may be, mine was kind of dry. So I had to add a little extra sweetened condensed coconut milk because it just was too dry. So there you have it. Um, I only put in maybe another, an additional two ounces, maybe if that, um, but it, it's, you know, honesty time. I almost put that on the counter. But uh, here we go. It's time to roll this out. Can you believe that that is a ball of sugar? Holy crud. I have hyper kids. Now we're just going to roll it out. And if it sticks, I'll just put some more sugar on here. I don't like the idea that my paper's rolling, but now you can roll this as thick or as thin as you want. Depend depends on how you want your patties. Do you want them super thin? Do you want them big? You know, you're just gonna. I'm gonna try and roll mine out to. Um, I need a little bit of powder sugar. I didn't want to open this, but it looks like I'm going to have to. Sticking. It's all right. We'll use it in something else. The other one was open also. So I got these and I made donuts. I made, um, ah, I didn't have to open it up. I had some right here. Ah, what is wrong with me? You see, it's starting to stick really bad. My morsels are getting ready to fall. Oh, I'm having a heck of a time today. Oh, that's better. I didn't put any on the underside of this, so it's probably got to stick like crazy. But we'll just work it out if it sticks. We'll peel it off and start over again. I had to check, see if it was going to stick. And then we're going to dip them in there. Then we're going to put it back in the fridge for, 
for a moment. Um, let me see. Hold on a minute, and I'll get something to cut these with. All right. So what I got was a scooper from the uh, iced tea thing. I tried one over here real quick. I don't know if you could see it. Is it dark in there? Let me try and brighten you up a little bit. For some reason, it looks awful dark. Might be in here, way, way I'm looking. But anyway, hopefully you'll see it. This is what I'm using. I'm going to just go around, and I'm going to just cut little circles out. And once I get a little bit more into the middle, it won't be quite so stuck like these are. Okay? And then I'm just going to put them on a sheet pan over here that you can't see. And then we're going to, I'm going to make quick time of cutting these out. And then we're going to put them in the freezer while I start melting the chocolate. So I'm going to see if I can get a bunch of little circles in here and go from there. That would be great, wouldn't it? I get a little peppermint patties. I can only eat one. And when these stiffen up, we're going to take a fork. We're going to dump them in some melted chocolate. I'm not going to melt the chocolate just yet until I'm ready to go. You know, I've got all these on there. Throw them in the, throw them in the freezer to firm up a little bit. That's not working out that good when it gets to there because of the, the handle wants to get involved. Well, it's going now. I'm holding the handle up, bending the handle back a little bit. My phone might ring while we're doing this because my mom is in her 90s and she's not feeling well. I'm waiting for my sister to call me back, see what they're doing, to see if I have to skedaddle or, or what's going on. But in the meanwhile, I'll just keep going on this. All right. So I got the water going. Hair is not going to be in the flames. I'm going to add the chocolate up here. I have more chocolate off to the side there. But what I want to do is I want to just start with one. And then, of course, you needed the vegetable uh, spread that we talked about. Vegetable spread. Ah. What do you call that? I can't think what it's called right now. Um, shortening. Goodness gracious. Whew. That was no fun. That might be too much. Uh, I'll take a little bit of this water out of this pan. That might be a little bit too much water in that pan. That's better. This pot is heavy, and when you put the when I put the heavy pot in there, it displaced the water quite a bit. So we'll just start here with this, and here in a minute, it's going to start melting. It's already melting the chocolate in the bottom. Yep, there we go. How about that? And I really think the butter is just so that we can get this uh, the shortening. It's just to get this thing melting up. If I need a little bit more butter, I'll add it. You know, nothing has to, nothing's written in stone when you're when I'm cooking anyway. When other people cook, maybe. I know that baking is a little bit more precise than cooking. You can eyeball it mostly. But, hmm, hmm, smell, smells good. Smells like chocolate. Makes me want to eat it right out of the pan. I could have just put it in the microwave and kept checking on it, but I did that water. Still got too much water in there, but I didn't feel like it. I don't know how long this is going to take. But I'll keep at it until we can start dipping the uh, peppermints in it. All right, so here you have it. I had to put it in the microwave. It was taking too long, and I'm impatient. So 
Let's get it. Let's go. You're going to dip it? Now, I said to poke it, but again, I'm too impatient. And it's going to get messy. Woohoo. That's why he says poke it. Because it wants to stay. That might be a little bit too much. This needs to be a little bit more creamier. Let me uh, heat it up a little bit more. Okay, I don't know if it's the kind of chocolate I'm using or what. Uh, what the oops? What the problem is here? But um, it's not melting. Like see, I like I said, I've never made this with uh, this kind of chocolate. It doesn't seem to want to melt the same as regular chocolate. It doesn't want to do anything like the other chocolate does. And this is going to be way too much chocolate on here with this. So I would say that this is a eh, but we'll see. We'll keep it going. We'll tie them out, and I'll, I'll, I'll get it on here. I'm going to work it a little bit. I'll come back and let you know what the outcome was. Well, all right. I did it. They aren't. Let me tell you something. Let me get down here with you. These are some ugly-looking peppermint patties. Um, Eric's chocolate takes a higher melting. It doesn't do as well, so I'm sure the milk chocolate would have done much better. But, you know, you ever hear the, the saying, only a face a mama could love? These. <laughs> But we will get to the taste test, and we will do this. We will, because, like I said, I, it is all like I'm substituting this and substituting that. I'm trying to find out what works. It's on there. They're just not very pretty. I'm going to put them back in the freezer until it's time to taste them. All right. There's the homemade peppermint patties. They came apart very well. They look really good. Um, they look like they taste really good, as you say. They're kind of ugly, but, you know, it's all in the taste, right? I'm not making these professionally. Um, what I would do with these is I would not use the chocolate I used, which was a kind of chocolate for Eric. It's not like regular chocolate, real chocolate. So it didn't melt the same. But if you do use this, it is very, very good. I tasted it. It's yummy. It just looks ugly. So just don't use the chocolate I did. Let's go. Taste it. Got chocolate all the way around. Oh, He's passing out. It must be good. Oh, how about that? They aren't very pretty to look at, but they're very tasty, right? Cool beans. 